Hello, everyone. I want to introduce to you Rishi Patel. Rishi's sales career started on the hamster wheel, selling low ticket and high volume. And having lots of customers to work with was great. But as a coach and a business owner, there were way too many balls to juggle, leading him to burnout. One of the things that really kept him afloat during that burnout was his love for martial arts. It was almost like a lifeline that he had as a coach. He always wanted to use coaching to really live his purpose. And that's what selling high end, high value created for him. Not only did it enable increased revenue, but more free time to pursue his purpose, empowering children through martial arts so that they become a valuable contribution to their families, community, and society at large. Today, Rishi works with coaches and consultants to help them price and package their services to discover and live their purpose. Welcome, Rishi. Hey, so it's really great to be here in this energy with you. And uh, thank you so much for having me on and, uh, and for running this interview. Yeah, well, you know, I, I personally think you're brilliant and we need more of you. We need to clone you. <laughs> And you, in the introduction, I talked about your background as a martial artist. And tell me more about that. I've loved martial arts since I was a kid and watched the original Kung Fu movies on, um, as, as a child. So tell me more about what that was doing for you. Absolutely. And just to create a little context on that, some people may not even know what martial arts is. Uh, and so I always talk about it as this real kind of balance, harmony, uh, and alignment of hand, foot, body, mind kind of connection, right? And bringing all together the different limbs that we have in order to move inside of an art form. I think martial arts has been a little bit hammered in the media and it looks like it's kind of about fighting when really it's about peace and it's incredible. And we talk about it in terms of peace greater than punches. And my story actually starts even before I got to martial arts, which is the reason I started martial arts was when I was a kid. Uh, I was the shortest in my entire age group. And that really meant that I felt like I couldn't fit in. I didn't make very many friends when I was younger. Um, I did everything I could to try and make friends, but I just felt different because I was so short. And so the older kids um, in the year group, the, the bigger kids, much taller than me, they would push me around and I had created a story. I got bullied. And because my father saw all of that happening, he sent me to martial arts classes because he wanted me to learn how to defend myself. And that's really where that entire thing started for me. And it was a journey about realizing self-worth. That's in essence what martial arts was for me, because as soon as I came into the training hall, uh, my instructor would, yes, he'd teach me how to kick, punch and fight and, and defend myself, but that was 20% of it. 80% of it for me was the way he drew out that inner confidence that was already there, that was hiding, uh, that I then got to later on apply in life to just really be a change in the world, to see others in this context, coaches, charge their worth from knowing their self-worth. Right. And that's so important because if you don't value yourself, nobody else is going to. <laughs> exactly. <you're> going to <laughs> Absolutely. It starts, from, it very much does start from us. And that's really the change actually I want to see in the world, to be honest, is a world where coaches who are my amazing market, the people that I serve, consultants, service providers, I'd love to see them all charging their worth and really believing in themselves, because as you said, it starts from them. And so we create at Selling in Alignment, we create this beautiful environment for that to all happen. And that's absolutely perfect. And that is definitely what needs to happen. And there was something that, that was also in the introduction that I wanted to mention. And that's something that you called high value. And don't, isn't, isn't like the buzzword, the common word, like high ticket, 
Isn't that what we call it? You know, you have a high ticket program and, you know, depending on who you are, high ticket could be 500 to $10,000. What's what, why high value? Exactly. Great, great point, Sue. And, and I'm on a mission to really raise awareness around this and redefine the terminology in our industry. Um, and if there's something that lights me up, it's this, this topic. So we call, in the industry, they call it all high ticket. And that's a very common word that gets thrown around. And as you said, it can mean absolutely anything. The issue with the terminology high ticket is it only references what's in it for the person doing the selling, right? It talks about the benefit that they get from it. And what I want to constantly do with our community here at Selling Alignment is remind people that we're delivering value. And as a result of that, we're charging the prices that we're worth. So we call it a high value, high end product instead of a high ticket product. Why? Because high value, and it's specific in that order for a reason, so high value, high end. So high value, because we're going to deliver high value for the customer on the other end. High end, because those are services that we're gonna to stack together at the very end of our product funnel, which really delivers the biggest transformation for our customers. And the more we tell ourselves, like the more we put out there that it's high value, high end, the more we're programming our own subconscious mind to remind us that we're putting the customer first and then our needs next. Right. So it's all about the result for the customer, not the dollar sign or the euro sign or the pound sign or whatever it is. Exactly. <laughs> In front of that does not tell you anything of the value of what the customer is getting. Right. Precisely. And it's so important as well, because the dollar signs are going to follow what happens when we deliver high value. Now, naturally, when we give our customers an amazing amount of value, they're going to want to move heaven and earth to be in our energy, to buy more of our products and services, to, to do that kind of work with us at that level. And I'm seeing this right now. So I'm organizing a, a get together for all the paid selling and alignment clients at the moment. And I have clients from all over the UK. And the ones that are in the UK, regardless of where they are, they want to come to this get together. And it's really a testament to what we've created because I'm all about delivering that high value and they know that. And so if I call them to come to, to London and, you know, travel two and a half or three hours, they're going to do that for me because I've already delivered a lot of value. I've really moved what they thought was possible in the space. And so naturally, you know, these are going to be my top end customers and they're going to buy from me and that's a byproduct of just being high value. And, and as a part of that, let's see if I can put this into, into the best possible words. As, as a part of that, when they are comfortable being high value, when they know it in their bones, when they, when they you know, intrinsically know that they're delivering high value, they can talk about numbers more confidently right and it generates the confidence and you have clearly you know what your value is you know what your transformation is and obviously they want to come and be in that space where you get it about their value you get it about your value and and that energy must just be amazing when and it gets that's Exactly. And that's the word I was just about to use is that energy. And yes. you can imagine, right, because when we are doing that, we're raising our vibration. Mm -hmm. And as energetic beings, when we're raising our vibration, now we're calling into the space a completely different caliber of person, of clientele. Uh, we're no longer working with these people who maybe we don't charge enough money for, and they kind of just really scraping the bottom of the barrel to be able to work with us. And it's not our ideal market. And there's nothing wrong with people who are striving and doing their best. It's just that maybe we're not the right fit for that at that particular right. moment in time. And so we attract with our vibration a different caliber of person altogether. And what that higher vibration does is it also uh, moves away and kind of pushes away from us those people that maybe won't be able to afford the services and the value and the impact we want to create right or they don't believe in themselves enough to create that value for themselves 
exactly right. absolutely yeah. and it, it all really starts from there you know and this is what we do really uh, a lot of people look at this as um sales skills or like selling you know those high value high end products like what's the campaign and the tactics and the strategies and we have all of that selling in alignment and i find that 50 percent of the work that i do is on the individual and we're raising self-worth and when we raise self-worth then automatically as a result of that we get to charge our worth i'll give you a really great very short example um, I have a fantastic client who I'm working with for around two years now, and um, his name's Jonathan Hughes. He's just out there in the world, and he's created a high-value, high-end product and service. He's a consult brand strategist, and he works with high-end companies. And his coaching package now we've created is £20,000, which is about $25,000. And he's just got a renewal for that, and so the client is renewing that with him, doing it for another 12 months. and. It's a minimal amount, amount of work that he needs to invest into it, but the quality of what he's delivering is, is amazing. And we didn't start there. Where we started was he had a very small revenue for the entire year. And this has really moved his bottom line. And as a result, working on his self-worth, what we also did for him is we also created a romantic relationship, which is one of his goals. And so because he's working on his self-worth, not only is he charging his worth, but he's increased his confidence as well and been able to call in this relationship. Right. Yes, there's a wonderful Buddhist teacher named Sherry Huber who teaches how you do anything is how you do everything. Yes. And when you raise your vibration, you've <laughs> raised your vibration. <laughs> it's not limited to, you know, sales or romance or you know, athletics or anything else. It's like when you raise it, it's raised. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And I know you know, and you know I know, but for the benefit of our audience, let's talk about the downside of undercharging, right? It's it's really the underbelly of undercharging. You know, it's really interesting and i think people don't really fully get the impact of undercharging for their services there's so much that goes on not only in our inner world but then in our outer world as a result so if we just start with what happens within us first of all when the idea of raising our prices come up people are starting to get questioning around themselves around hey well, are my clients still going to buy um Am I even going to be able to deliver the, the caliber of products and services for, for this new price point? Uh, do I even deserve to charge more money? Uh, and so this is all showing up sort of internally when we talk about raising our prices. When we keep our prices low, what generally happens is it's just we attract a different caliber of, of clientele. And we have to really understand that when we charge the right value, it's not about us it's about the it's about the company or it's about our entity right so there's rishi patel and then there's selling in alignment and these are two separate entities and selling in alignment is uh, a baby and it needs to be fed and nurtured and looked after like the way that a mother would and so in this context my role is that I'm the mother and I need to feed that company so that it grows and becomes something incredible and, and leaves a legacy and creates a massive impact in the world. And through undercharging, unfortunately, what happens is we just don't get to do that. And then so we're looking at our finances at the end of the day and we're asking ourselves, hey, you know, why can't I pay myself, you know, what I really deserve from this? And, you know, why can't I invest more into uh, marketing? Why can't I do more in terms of uh, finances and and you know bringing in these relevant resources that I want to bring in and join this specific high-end mastermind it doesn't happen because it starts right at the beginning where we're not charging enough for our products and services and so when we really look at that um, we get to look at okay you know if I stay here then it's literally a downward spiral like I'm not charging enough for my products and services my company isn't growing as a result uh, my clients um, are not the caliber I want to work with. I now don't believe in myself that I can't do it. And it just keeps, unfortunately, spiraling downwards. And this comes back to really what you said at the beginning, which is around that self-worth piece. Like we have to first believe it in ourselves that, you know, we, we can charge the kind of money we're worth before it will transform on the outside. Sometimes it's not easy to do by yourselves. And that's why you work with someone like myself 
to have you really look at, you know, this is the offering that you've got, this is how you should be pricing it, and this is where we want to be in the world, and, and this is why. Right, too, and I love that metaphor about you know, you're you're the mom of this of this baby entity that you want to nurture, you want to take care of. And, you know, one of the things that I see definitely is one of your values is you want to help others so that they can help others, right? Exactly. It's this thing that goes out into the world. You you help somebody, they do better, they help more people. Maybe there's a second generation they go off and they help more people. So you have sort of spiritual grandkids and great grandkids that are going out into the world and doing great work. And, and that's the value of high value. Spot on and exactly correct. And inside of doing all of that, the dollar signs take care of themselves. Right. See, right. In everything that you just said, which is so beautifully articulated, uh, and I hope people will go back and listen to that again, because it was just really well put. It's exactly what I stand for and what the business wants to see in the world and the big change in the world. The dollar signs take care of themselves because you're already out there. You're living a greater purpose. The universe can't help but to serve you to mold around what you need to make that happen. Uh, and that's why then you call in, you come into a space actually of receiving. And that's why we can charge those high value, high end prices. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And the, the, the impact of the, on the industry, you know, you don't, you don't want coaching to be a can of tomatoes, right? It's not a commodity. It's not, you know, it's not something you just go down to the grocery store and you try to find the cheapest cut of meat or you know the the do you buy organic or not broccoli no that's not what it's about it's about high value valuing yourself and you becoming that beacon the other metaphor that occurred to me was you know a plane you know going through a storm or going through darkness and you're like the 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 airport you know air traffic control that's going, no, 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 this is your course. This is where you're going. You want to follow this line, follow this light. This is the way to go. And don't pay attention to, you know, all of this other stuff. This is the way to go. And that's, that's what you do for your clients, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's such a great metaphor. And there's so much actually inside there that we can unpack. And it's, it's exactly correct, right? We get to really look at, hey, who am I being in the world? And what's the transformation that I'm creating? And some of the coaches that I work with, the transformation that they get for their clients and what they help them to achieve and this new spaces that these people get to step into, you cannot put a dollar amount on it. The transformations are just so profound. And so we really need to understand that coaching can become an industry that is unparalleled to anything else out there. I mean, who's to say that a coach can't earn as much as a top end lawyer or healthcare professional or, you know, doctor, dentist, whatever that looks like? Like, why can't a coach earn just as much? And my whole thing in selling alignment is let's have coaches step into that massively powerful space of knowing their worth, of charging their worth, of really thriving because of the change that they get for their clients and because they're the guiding light for their clients in that air traffic control. Uh, and I just get to be another version of that. So really it's exactly what we said, that ripple of goodness just keeps getting passed on and we create more and more good in the world. Absolutely. So Rishi, how can people get a hold of you and your air traffic control and your <laughs> your mom energy and and nurturing and wonderful brilliance that you bring to your clients great question so uh obviously i'm active on most social media platforms and that's a great way of of getting hold of me and connecting with me one of the the thing that i will say is that the way you can connect with the air traffic control tower is by uh using my pricing calculator so we'll supply a link to that on this. 
And that's actually a really great way of taking coaches, consultants, service providers through a series of 12 questions, which will assess what should be the minimum hourly rate that they should be charging. It will give them a precision report at the end of it. And it will actually show them based on a series of questions what they should be charging as a minimum, regardless where in the world they are. And that's the really best way to have a little bit of light from that air traffic control shone on the plane to say, hey, you know, is where are you in relation to this? And that's going to raise some awareness around, OK, you know, I need to do something about my rate. Right. Well, wonderful. Thank you, Rishi. Again, I think we need to clone you. We need a hundred, two hundred thousand of you <laughs> in the world going out and sharing this light and this brilliance. and and so we can help others, right? Like I said, you know, going out and having spiritual grandkids out there is just, that's the way to go. Make the world a better place. That's so kind of you to say, Sue, and I really appreciate that. And I uh, look forward to connecting with people and talking to people and just moving this conversation forward and just making this change in the world for the coaching industry. Absolutely. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.